back up here and uh, sprayed down all the bolts for the brace that goes from the upper to lower control arm and actually got all four bolts out so I was amazed by that and uh, I don't know if you can see them but uh, there's yellow jackets somewhere in that car flying around every now and then but uh, security system you know all right so here's both braces and bolts and uh, I'll probably use those bolts because right now I have uh, tractor supply bolts in mine and I'm sure those are a better bolt so back in a second something I wanted to mention uh, it's been a little bit and here lately I've gotten a lot more subscribers and I'm thankful for that but you know a lot of times people don't go back and watch older videos so uh, This is a 67 Super Sport, uh, 396, four speed, butternut yellow, uh, black interior, black top, Chevelle. And uh, that's, you know, that's not a very common color scheme, really you uh around here anyway A actually in i don't know the 15 years now that i've been paying attention to chevelles and stuff the car shows i've only ever seen one and that was yesterday uh, even it wasn't actually a vinyl top car but somebody had painted the top black so, uh, I've got a picture of it I'm going to post in here. But that's the, that's the closest to this car that I've ever seen. Except, uh, this car had a bench seat. And that, uh, one I took the picture of is a black bucket seat car with console. Also a four speed. So, I've... You know, I, I stuck my head plumb in the window to look at that one because I was trying to see what mine's supposed to look like. I'm going to mention this because maybe it might help somebody. Uh, Alright, so for you, those of you that haven't watched the Fiat videos, I put an engine in this car. We bought it at a used car lot and uh, I put an engine in it. We, we bought it knowing that it needed an engine. And my mother has been driving the car. She's been driving it. This is really scary if you start thinking about it. But she's been driving it uh, 200 miles a day. I mean, for two months now. And, and the car had been doing fine. And But today she was going to go to Walmart and then go down to where she's been going. Uh, and it had a flat tire. So I had to go get it and bring it back. And uh, it was ran on it with it flat. So it, you know, screwed the sidewall up a little bit. So we're going to get two tires at least for it. But what's scary about this, I hadn't ever had the hubcaps off. Uh, I didn't have a reason to take the hubcaps off because when I put the engine in the car, I didn't have to take the axles out or anything. So I didn't take the, lug, the hubcaps off to check this. A, a Fiat has, or a 500 like this one, has lug bolts, not nuts. So, you know, they screw in like that. You know, kind of like a, you know, 
certain BMWs and uh, Saabs and stuff like that. They screw in. They're actually bolts. They're not nuts. So she had been driving this car 200 miles a day for two months since I got it together. I drove it home 300 miles from where we bought it. And the entire time, both uh, driver's side wheels was missing two of their bolts. And these aren't all that tight. Uh, so, I mean, that's partially my fault. I didn't check that, but I didn't really see like I needed to check that because this car had been getting driven. But, uh, apparently, uh, there's a bunch of incompetent <laughs> It's safe to sell somebody a car and not even mention that there's lug nuts missing. That could have killed somebody.